We're talking to my friend Meister today. Eastlake gangster, ex-convict, just did eight years in prison. Three state, five federal. He's never heard the Gabriel Fernandez story. We're gonna get his reaction. Aguirre's trial revealed that Gabriel would be beaten anytime social workers would ask questions about his injury. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty. That was a victory. Yeah, the kids to fucking the dead. First degree. His final beating of Gabriel ended the child's life, but evidence proved that Gabriel's pathway to death began eight months earlier. People like that don't intentional. deserve to live, man. Gabriel was fed cat litter, cat feces, slept gagged and handcuffed in a cabinet. Oh, I've never seen anything in my, in, in my entire career. I've never seen anything like that. I wasn't prepared. Roughly a week later, Gabriel was dead. Right now, a judge has just Damn, sentenced Holmes, a that, that is fucking crazy. I never heard of this shit. Never seen it. That's crazy, man. How I feel about this situation is like, it's crazy. I got, I got seven, eight kids, man. Seven and one, one foster kid of my own that I love and adore. And do I not f even discipline them? For the simple fact was because we're here to protect them, not to, not to hurt them, man. And it, it's crazy from where I come from, the way I was raised. We don't do stuff like that, man. And uh, this guy deserves more than the death penalty. He deserves to be tortured, burnt. For the rest of his life as long as he's living it's like how can people like that walk amongst us or should i say how can we let people like that walk amongst us and i'm not with that it's fucking it's heartbreaking eh? it's it's heartbreaking and it's like like i'm glad that i wasn't part of that family because i would have took physical action myself man like I said, I got a handful of kids myself that, that I adore. That I thank God every day for having them in my life, for bringing me these blessings. It's not only one, two, but I got a handful of kids, like I said. And it's sad that they tortured this little boy. And not only tortured them, but killed them. And it's saying that the social workers did shit about it. My, my eyes, my opinion, they deserve to get tortured themselves as well for neglecting to do their job and that's what we rely on a system that's supposed to help protect and keep children and people safe here in society when stuff like this happens it's like what next who else needs to lose their life and they shouldn't even have to go this far just to get acknowledgement you know i'm fresh out of federal prison and as as bad as I've been out there in society. My crimes don't involve kids, women, and shit like that. And it's heartbreaking for, for this little boy and any other kid that goes through this shit. And people like that, man, don't deserve to walk on this earth. That's just how I feel about it, point blank. He should be sentenced to, to not only how he was death, but tortured until that day comes. That's how I see it. They tortured that little boy that couldn't even defend himself. You know, how many other kids are out there going through the same thing that haven't yet gone to the extreme? What, what are we going to do? How many cases out there that are not even known about, but family members know about them? I'm pretty sure that pe them people's family, you know, knew about what was going on. And honestly, it's hard. Damn if we do, damn if we don't. I wasn't in that situation, nor I have ever been. But if I was... Something that I would want to do or I probably would do is, for example, like the teacher. If she knew about it, she should have fucking not even let that kid go home with that family. But then again, we got to understand the teacher really probably was in a situation where like, I can't keep this kid because next, you know, it's kidnapped or this and that and the other. But she could have called the cops. I mean, it's like there's a lot of what ifs the, after the, the fact. The, the teacher did in her defense. She did call DCF many times. And uh, nope. that, that's what, one of the big problems is then they would send the, the workers or they would send the police to the house yeah. and the parents would just lie and they leave them there. And then, uh, you know, Gabriel would get it worse. Well, there's a lot of things I could say I probably would do. 
and would have done. But I wasn't in them people's situations. But all I know is that the system was designed to protect children from from parents like them. Not only from parents, from relatives, from from uh, foster parents, from guardians. And they failed him. How many other kids have they failed? That's just one that hit mainstream. And I, I ain't gonna lie, it's the first time I heard about this story and it's furious, man. It got me furious. It got me to where, God forbid, I don't ever go back to prison and end up in a cell with that guy. Even though I wouldn't ever be because I wouldn't be categorized as something that he's categorized as. But, you know, do I hope and wish? Yeah, I hope and wish a lot of things would happen to that person. But you know what? It's all out there and he got his judgment day coming to whether it's judgment day by the man upstairs, by the system, California, or just he gets that prison judgment. Welcome to that east side where that sun don't shine. Enter at your own risk like the roll of a dice. Take a chance with your life. Don't get caught without your knife. Goons on sight with their red lights. Taking flight, no airlines. 223s will keep you.